Hello friends, welcome back again. Today we learn, how to create this infinity loop animation. Let's move on to the tutorial. First of all we will create a composition for text. We are using 1920 by 200 resolution, at 30 frame per second. Now we type the text. Make sure your text alignment is in the center. Then we will create a solid layer for background. And bring it down. Our text is ready. Now let's animate it. We create a new composition. This time we use full HD resolution, at same frame rate. We will drop the text layer. Then right click on it. And flip it to vertical. Now add CC cylinder effect on it. We will transparent the background by turn on the transparency grid. In CC cylinder effect, we change rotation X to negative 340. As you see, the circle is not visible. To make it visible we will turn on the collapse transformations. We will create a new camera. Then change one view to two view. In second view we also turn on the transparency grid. Now we create a null object, and turn on its 3D. In CC cylinder, we alt click on the position X, then link it to the null position. Let's take a look at Visual FX Pro, today's video sponsor. They're creating incredible stock footage, which you can use to create realistic visual effects. They have free stock footage like the fire particles, gun sparks, and blood textures. They also have paid stock footage, forest fire, window fire, fire transitions and lot more. Check the below link, use my code, and get 15% off on all the products. They are also offering 50% off on Master VFX Pack. So let's go check it out. After linking the position X, at the end of the expression, we will type 0 minus 960. We will do the same with position Y and Z. But at the end of the Y expression, we type 1 minus 540. And at the end of the Z expression, we type 2. Now we add null position keyframe, and change its position. We will move keyframe at 3 second, and come back. Now we change the position again. Please do not forget to subscribe my channel, and follow us on Twitter. After changing the position, we will adjust its path, for that we select the pen tool. And click on a point, then move it to upward, something like that. We do the same with the second point. Now let's preview it. Make sure you are at first frame. Then we add rotation XY keyframe, come at 3 second, and change rotation X to negative 257, rotation Y to 100. Again let's preview it. We also add echo effect. In echo change the time to negative 0.195, number to 40. Operator to composite in front. Let's preview it. We will select rotation X keys. And change it to easy A's. Then go to graph editor. Make sure it's on edit speed graph. Now change the curves something like that. Let's come back. After adjusting the curve, it will look like this. We will move to text composition and add fill effect on the background layer. Then change its color. Now we come back to the main composition. Here we turn on the transparency grid, and select the text composition, then in echo effect, we will reduce the echo time to fill the gap between circles. We also add the drop shadow effect on it. And move it on top of the echo effect. Then change its opacity, distance and softness. As you can see, 
it looks great after adding the drop shadow. Now we will select all compositions, and create a pre-compose by pressing Ctrl Shift C. To make it infinity loop animation, we will enable stretch option, and change it to 150%. Now at 4.15 second, we will trim the layer. And move it at first frame. Then open composition setting, and change duration to 5 second. Let's preview the infinity loop animation. I think I forget to change the light setting in CC cylinder. Let's change its light intensity. Height and duration. Now we will come back to main composition, and preview it. Our today topic is complete, I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Please do not forget to subscribe my channel. And give us your valuable feedback. It is very important to us. We will meet on next tutorial, and be happy.